That has nothing to do with the track anymore, right? Just nothing. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Much less than two. Thank you, Jasmine, for lighting our candles. Uh, my name is Manny Dayao. I am the lay associate for worship and music here at St. Peter's Episcopal Church. I want to uh, especially thank Reverend Ha'aheo for uh, running Jazz Vespers the last couple weeks while we've been away. Uh, we welcome you into this space. We hope that it can be a time of reflection and prayer on this third Thursday in Lent. Um, so let us begin.
Please join me for the opening sentences found in the bulletin. Bless the Lord who forgives all our sins. The Lord's, the Lord's mercy, mercy endures, endures forever. forever. Yours is the day, O God, yours also the night. You established the moon and the sun. You fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night. Darkness is not dark to you, O Lord. The night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. Let us pray. O Lord God Almighty, as you have taught us to call the evening, the morning, and the noonday one day, have made the sun to know it's going down. Dispel the darkness of our hearts, that by your brightness we may know you to be the true God and eternal light, giving and reigning forever and ever. Amen.
O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Almighty and most merciful God, kindle within us the fire of love, that by its cleansing flame we may be purged of all our sins and made worthy to worship you in spirit and in truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. 
The psalm this evening is Psalm 95, printed in the bulletin. I invite you to read the verses in bold responsively with me. Psalm 95. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Harden not your hearts as your forebears did in the wilderness at Meribah and on that day at Massa when they tempted me. They put me to the test, though they had seen my works. Forty years long I detested that generation and said, This people are wayward in their hearts. They do not know my ways. So I swore in my wrath, They shall not enter into my rest. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory Glory to to the the Father and to the Son and to the the Holy Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was was in the beginning, beginning, is now now, and and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen.
Thank you for that really heartfelt song. Please join me with the prayers, beginning with the Lord's Prayer, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Christ Jesus, our Savior. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Glory to God, whose power working within us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. <laughs> I have found, but when my chick is on the ground, I pick myself up, dust myself off, start all over again. Don't lose your confidence if you slip, be grateful for a pleasant trip, and pick yourselves up, dust yourself off, start all over again. Work like a stone in
dust myself off and start all over again. Don't lose your confidence if you slip. Be grateful for a pleasant trip and pick yourself up. Dust yourself off and start all over again. Get a word, get a word, inspire. Tell the man the day is one. You may be sick. Our jazz musicians this evening, we have Dan Del Negro on piano, Mark Tenoy on bass, Star Kalahiki on vocals, and our quartet leader, Reggie Padilla on tenor saxophone. And for those of you at home, we have streaming. Uh, let's see, we've got um, Konstantinos Karampakakis back there, and Terry, um, Terry Dang, and Maisha Stovall there, making it possible for you to join us at home. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. We look forward to seeing you again next week, and um, Easter will be right around the corner from then. So if you're looking for worship opportunities for Holy Week, please see me, and we'll fill you in. Thank you so much. Good evening. Yeah.